Hello, welcome to another episode of Chat with Cat, where I have real chats with real people about real life experiences. And today I have the most amazing Courtney on with me. You guys will love her just as much as I do. She has this enjoyable, peaceful energy around her that is just so nice to be around. You will see through this episode what I'm talking about. Um, so welcome today, Courtney, to the podcast. I'm honored to have you as a guest. Thank you for having me. This is so beautiful and I'm excited to share more and have real conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And in getting started, I just want you to go through a bit of your background, your story, and what kind of led you to the path that you're on today. Yes, I feel like I could share and we would be here for days. We've all got a story. Time, girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> we've all got a story. Even you listening or watching this, you, we've we've got a story. And so um it's it's exciting to share it and and thank you for having me and and for giving me the space to be able to share my experiences. So uh my background, I was a vet nurse for five years. And that was, yeah, many years ago, loved it. I'm currently house pet sitting. So I'm still sort of in that vibe. I'm vegan. So I love, like, I just love animals. I love beings. I love supporting them and have big visions and big goals to be able to make impact in the world in that way too. So I'm super excited to share more about that in the coming future. However, vet nursing, if I'm going to be, of course, honest and real with you, I didn't realize at the time I was, I got to a point where I was so frustrated, emotionally like burnt out, wanted more, was seeing these beautiful, successful people that I saw as successful doing these amazing things. And I just had this, like, if you're listening, like, do you have that pull in your heart where you're just, you want to do more, you feel like maybe you're, you feel small in some way because this world is so big and you have this big heart and you don't know where to start. And there's just like, okay, how do I make more impact? That was, that was where I was at. Um, and I didn't realize in vet nursing that, um, yes, it's required. Like I love the emergency side. It's very helpful. However, I was seeing, and I just did a post about this today, I was seeing the reflections and I believe the reflections of animals, of the, their, their, a reflection of their um, owner um, or their mom or dad. I like to say their family. So I don't, it feels yeah. weird saying pets and um <laughs> pets and owners because it's like their family. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's right. And I know you got beautiful puppies yourself. So yeah, they're family. And so I was seeing the reflection of these animals with 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 their mums and dads and with their family. And I was reflecting, I was like, wow, that really hurts because I feel like we're not getting to the root of the cause, like the root of the problem here. And that is really to work with the people. Because when we work with the people, we work with the moms and the dads, that reflects then onto the kids, that reflects then onto everyone around them because they're like, like they're like running the show essentially. And so I that's the reason why I was really like, okay, I'm I'm I've got more to do here. I can see here that people are stressed out, the animal was stressed out. I can see here that uh, the animals would have heart conditions and then you look at the owner and they've got their own their own health conditions going on. So it's just this direct correlation of um, yeah, it, it made me feel really sad and really empty because I was like, yes, I could work in emergency. I just know that I've got a bigger voice, a bigger heart, and I can make more impact here in this world. So that's what really led me on to finding more. And I remember laying on the bedroom floor, like just praying for something different. I was like, universe, please just send me. I, I didn't even know what I believed then in God, universe, angels, guides, all the things, whatever you believe. I didn't know. I didn't know what was out yeah. there. But I knew that there was more. And so that's what really led me to low ticket network marketing, which I'm really grateful for because I got to experience community and start my business journey. And that led me to investing 30K into my personal development at the age of 21. I I thought I was broken. <laughs> it's so incredible, right? These, these like all, all of these things really led me to like who I am and really discovering and going deeper with myself. 
Um, and so, yeah, I've done the, like the nine to five, I've done the low ticket. I've, I also then moved to Queensland with my soul sister. I told her after a beautiful past life regression one day, I said, I'm quitting my job. Like I'm leaving. And I quit my job the next day within a month, her and I had moved to the sunny coast just in between like COVID times before things shut down um, at the end of 2020 on Boxing Day. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, and she has an investment property down in Melbourne. And so she had sold my bed that I was staying in at hers the, the next day. She was like right in it with me. So that's another thing of who is who is around you that you can um, run, run in this world together with, like that sister, that brother, whoever it is, like go in together because things are so much more magical and can be more empowering when you do it together because there's going to be times wow. along the journey where you're going to feel lost. You're going to feel like you want to give up. Like, like, what am I doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm just Courtney or I'm just this person. Like, who am I to be able to do these things? And so that, that's been a really big key point for me because she, yeah, I devote and give so much um, to Kristen, my soul sister, because she's really helped and supported me on this journey. So she's run with me this sun, sunny coast. We ended up getting this investment property together on the sunny coast and started a traditional business called the freedom sister movement and so we were running silent disco um on the beach, like silent discos on the beach a static dance with cacao and making big transformation we were coaching uh, which was amazing as well I do a lot with human design I've been studying it for the past six years too so we're helping integrate human design into every area of someone's life and then I got to another point and I was like I felt empty again. And I was like, what is this? And I realized that I wanted to expand. I wanted to grow. I didn't want to have this, uh, I guess, time, like like I, I was time poor. I was still doing some nine to fives along the side of this traditional business. Like I was, I felt like I was hustling. And I was like, this is not what it's about. Society makes us think that hustling is okay. And I am like, a standard for working hard however if we're working hard in the wrong areas in our life and working hard in misalignment we're just going to keep coming back into this like circle of frustration or whatever that is for you so that's where I was at and so her and I we had a good conversation of where we wanted to lead things and we were already in this beautiful company that we're with now um, within affiliate marketing and we were like, well, we have an incredible opportunity here because with coaching, I love it and I love what you do. That was another piece for me and her where we wanted to be able to offer like the wealth side too. We're like, okay, we're covering all sides. However, like what are they going to do with this now? Like people were leaving their jobs, people were leaving relationships that weren't aligned for them. Like what's that next step? And so that's when we just went all in in the one thing, which I think is really key too. So I love that you're going all in in what you're doing. I see so many entrepreneurs within our space too, like just go all in in that one thing. And so, yeah, we were scattered. And so we were like, let's direct our energy. Let's let's devote ourselves. And, and here I am now. And this year has been all about traveling the world. There's been so much along that journey, of course, that I could share around investing in coaches, investing. Like I, I love coaches. I invest in them all the time, investing in myself, like looking within, finding my own answers as well and just really continuing on, continuing on this path. And, and what I realized is that I'm really here to just help, like what you said, I love what you said about having real conversations with people and especially with me, with women, I realized, I was like, fuck yeah, like I want to be a stand to empower women. I don't want them to just come on my Instagram page and be inspired that's amazing. I love the cheerleaders on the side. And also I'm like, what do you want to do with that inspiration? How do you want to make impact in your life? Like, let's talk realness. Like let's, let's take action because I feel like there's a lot of society that are not taking action. They can see all these beautiful people online doing things and then get caught up in the, Oh, I can't do that. Or that's not me. Or I don't do online things, whatever it is, whatever that belief is in your head, it's like, no, it's it's not a thing because it's just you knowing what you want to do and then, okay, hey, like what's the solution? If I don't have the solution for you, Kat's got the solution. If Kat doesn't have the solution, then maybe someone else has a solution. And I know you're so big on contribution and collaboration, which I love, and that's what I'm all about too. So that's a little bit of a summary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love all that. And I love what you said about working hard and misalignment because there's so many people right now that have that burning desire that they know they're meant for more and they just have no idea what that means. Yeah. And by reconnecting to ourselves, doing the inner work, 
um, I find is what really helps lead us on that path and being open to opportunities and being expansive in any way yeah. that it comes. Like you said, you're laying on the floor and you're like, I don't know, universe, God, angels. Like I say <laughs> all the things cause I, it's, it's all there for me, you know, like, yeah. Um, so whatever someone's belief is just put a, you know, put a wish out there, you know, you never know where it might go. You're either wishing for worry or you're wishing for your dreams. So Boom. I love that. That's, ah. that's gold. Yeah. It's, that's, it's so important to, to know where to have that deeper level of self-awareness to know your thoughts. What are you thinking? Cause your thoughts create your emotions, which create your reality. And yeah. so if you're living in this cycle that feels frustrating, or maybe you don't even know it, this is a great time to pause, reflect and, yeah. and tune in of how do I actually feel? What does it feel like in my body? looking at all different areas of my life where am I happy maybe where am I not so happy and then you get to look at and and ask the universe like you're saying to provide you with some solutions to give you opportunities uh, because you're not doing this alone we're doing this all together as a collective as a universe with our guides with God whatever you believe there's always that higher energy that we're working with yeah and I'd love for you to chat a little bit because we were talking before um, about purging and energetic clearing and things like that because this walk isn't all sunshine and rainbows and I want people to hear the realness of it and how both sides are good there's not like a good versus bad everything is here for your benefit so how do you move through that oh my gosh so purging there's so many stories I can share I've been in lots of ceremonies I've sat with lots of shamans I've done uh I've done a lot of the hard inner work as I'm sh as I as I know you have too. And so there's so many different modalities out there. Mm. I feel like the first one is really starting with doing the shadow work. The shadow work is really key. I follow lots of shadow work mentors online and it's really powerful to sit and reflect. I feel for me that's been my biggest challenge is because I'm so go, go, go. I love the the doing and <laughs> so my lesson has been the being and reflecting so then I can make sure even in the space that I'm in that I'm not taking misaligned steps <laughs> and that I'm I'm still on path with my mission. Like the, the work never ends, the inner work never, never ends. So um my my biggest purge was really I got to a point where I was with my relationship with my soul sister, Kristen. I felt like I was going to lose her. I was going to lose um, the business. I was going to lose a lot of things in my life. And it was really, really scary. This was, I think, a couple of years ago now, over a year or two years ago. Um, and they were really challenging times. Like moving to Queensland has been the most rewarding and most challenging time of my life because there's been so much expansion. And in that right. expansion, can feel like, a lot <laughs> so I get it if you're listening to this and you can really feel that I, I I feel you and um yeah we're here to support you in that and so I got to this point where I didn't know what else to do I was investing in more mentors I think I invested another 20k in sisters that were doing what I thought similar things to us and the truth is there's no mentor that I had found that had investments together like with their sister that had um, and when I say sister, she's my soul sister. We look like sisters. However, we're not actually <laughs> sisters. We're like besties, but there's a difference, I feel. Yeah, there was no one that was doing what we were doing. And so it was, I felt really alone. Um, and so, yeah, I came across this beautiful shaman and sat in ceremony and I purged all night. I've never purged so much in my life. And that was one of the most fucking hardest, rewarding things. The next day, I just felt so at peace in myself. And it was so beautiful because I, it was like I came home to myself. And so sometimes there might be beautiful sacred medicines that you want to use to purge or release, or there's so many modalities like breath work, um, like cleansing, even just on a day-to-day -day basis, like making sure that you have that golden bubble or that rain around you, whatever that looks like for you to protect your energy when you're going through your day mm -hmm. and um, I love to sit with different different types of medicines as well in the, in that way to really cleanse and clear my energy because a lot of the time, like even if you're stuck with something, it's not about consuming more. It's actually about con like letting it go, like letting go of anything that's like there's just too much going on in your energy field. And that's what I've been really listening to, especially with Master Co. I don't know if you've heard of him. Really, really cool dude. He's, he works well with Tony Robbins. 
and I just feel his energy so much when I listen to him. There's a really beautiful uh, meditation that he does for it's about 15 minutes. There's 15 minutes of talking that I can share with you too and even the listeners and they can follow along with that because I've just started implementing that and that's been really helpful of clearing and he talks a lot about it's not about consuming more, it's actually about consuming less so then you can come back to your heart, come back to your soul, come back to that clarity within yeah. yeah, I hope that answers the question. I, there's so many things that I can share with cleansing yeah. <laughs> and purging and so many things. <laughs> yeah, I just think a lot of people have almost a hesitation sometimes of doing the inner work because either they have to face what they're feeling um, or they just don't know how they're going to live in this sunshine rainbow world when it's been like, do 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 show up show up show up like you're always in this hustle busy mode like how do you take a step back and enjoy life like nobody's teaching you that right so Mm -hmm. it's so important and you mentioned a lot about traveling recently and I know that you mentioned your trip to South America and visiting tribes there I would absolutely love for you to (laughs) share more on that Yeah, of course. Again, where do I start? That was six weeks in South America. And uh, this trip, this trip was sometimes you might notice, you might say yes to something and then you'll have all these obstacles and things that come in your way for you, for you Mm -hmm. to overcome, to be able to, to, for you to be like, yeah, this I'm a hundred percent in, in this thing. This is what the journey was to South America. So my journey began even before I got to South America, it was like obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And, and I had to be the most resourceful I've ever been in my life. I chose to be like that because otherwise I wouldn't have made it to South America in so many different ways. And luckily I've got great relationships around me. It's really key to help me overcome that and who can see me and like called me forward with these things so that was really magical so my journey definitely began before South America (laughs) when I was in South America we actually arrived so we went we did a a few weeks or a couple weeks in the Amazon jungle with a tribe called uh the Yawanara tribe and they the Yawanara tribes they've got tribes all along the Amazon river it took us three hours to get to this spot uh by boat um in these little boats so amazing if you want to check out or want any content just let me know anyone who's listening because I'm so happy to share it with you it's so amazing and I'm going to share more as I go post on my journey too um and so yeah it took us three hours to get into the jungle the tribe is so beautiful like they're so beautiful I, I had this bit of a block with humans and helping people even though I'm in this space there was this block because I love animals I felt like there was a bit of a missing connection with the depth that I wanted to go with humans in this society which was really interesting for me And so when I learned that, it was just these people welcomed us in like we were theirs. You felt so at home. You're there to be in your full expression. You can be all of who who, who you are, uh, do whatever you like, even in the different ceremonies and the different practices that we did. It was just be you, do you. What does that look like? And so that was a massive reflection of, well, who am I? What do I want to do? How do I want to show up? in so many different ways. And it could be the littlest things that really shifted my perspective. And so I've come back from them, thanks to them with a bigger heart that's more open to society and humans and really helping on this earth because maybe you're in a job you don't like, if you're listening to this, maybe you're working with people that are whinging or that are gossiping and they're all reflections to be, to look in within yourself too, of like, Hey, where am I not in alignment with my own, um, my own life and, and where is this in me and owning that in yourself and um, which we've done a lot in hey babe and yes. so yeah it was a it was a big a big reflection of okay how do I really want to help society and I just came back with a fuller heart um, many blessings um, what else can I share we we did so many things in the jungle I was also in Peru and um, that was really beautiful as well to be immersed in the mountains and high up and seeing things from this higher perspective. And the main thing was doing it with the people that I went with. So it's, I truly believe in those spaces or in, in anything you do, people would come into your life for a purpose or for a reason. And so the people that were in this, like we were in this together from the start to the finish, there was a few new people that came to Peru and weren't in the jungle with us. 
but that in itself was just so magical to experience it with these people and you deepen your relationships and you start opening up more and sharing and it was really magical so um the tribe's amazing we got in on my birthday on the 19th of april <laughs> we literally got into the jungle on that day and um, I saw a snake, it was venomous, it was like a whole thing and that meant something. So everything has a meaning and, yeah, it was really, really beautiful. I could, yeah, I could share so much around that uh, of the tribes and if you want to support the tribes or if you want um, organisations, there's a really great event that's happening. I'm pretty sure it's at the end of the year called Kiva. I can send you information for that and the tribes, so some of the shamans that I went over with, they're actually bringing some of the people, like the main uh, shamans from that tribe and they're bringing them over to Australia and so I'm pretty sure it's start of next year actually yeah I'm going to correct myself so if you want to come and you want to attend that and you want to support in that way uh, it's a few days you get food and it's just this beautiful you get to be immersed in the community you'll be immersed in the culture it's been a massive takeaway is just really how much I want to be immersed in these different cultures all around the globe and really see people and what they're doing and how you can help and and you never know things will start to shift. However, it's just a massive energy. It was an energy frequency. I came back. People were like, you're glowing. And, yeah, there's so many purges that I even did over in South America too. So, yeah, a really, really powerful trip. Yeah. And because of your traveling and, like, just exploring, I don't even want to say different cultures, but just different life experiences, like, um how do you feel like that shifted your perspective perspective on society well these people they brought us in and just with big open hearts open arms the men were so in their divine masculine that's the most like the deepest connection I feel I've had with a true masculine man a man that is open with his heart and you can tell is not afraid to share his emotions or how he's feeling and then, and also as such a provider for his community and such a provider, the men would just, they'd bring us chairs. They were doing things all the time. They were working. They were making sure we were supported. They were making sure that we were looked after. The women as well, just massive open hearts there with the kids, being that support as well in their own power. The women were so powerful. They're singing and because we're always singing in the tribes. There's, we're singing, we're blessing, we're we're praying. In, in different ways uh, for just life, for the universe, for Pachamama, uh, Mother Nature, for everything that we have just in this state of gratitude. So it's really, I want to say the women and the men that just really sh- blew me away with how they didn't even know us, but they respected us so much for leaving family, for coming, for experiencing their culture, for going all the way. They took, you know, it was like a 30 hour trip or something to get, to get there plus more by boat and these bumpy car rides and all the things. So they really were just like in this gratitude, they saw us, they, they really acknowledged us and celebrated us for being there and, and saying yes to ourselves and immersing ourselves in this new way. Cause they know for themselves how challenging that may be. And so to be able to do that, it was just like this deep respect that we had for each other and uh, trust, like trust, like never before with, with them and with us so yeah it was really beautiful yeah that is really beautiful because I find too like it sounds to me like they're very in the moment they're very full of gratitude for everything it's not like commercialized materialistic things like that it's very about nature and love and peace and joy and connection yeah Um, so how do you feel like if you were to, I don't want to say compare, but like being from where you're from versus seeing the way that they live their life, like how can we do better when we're in like a different energy, I guess? Yeah. So one of the biggest takeaways that I took away from them in South America in general is I came back to Australia and I was felt disconnected in some way. And I felt kind of guilty or shameful because the way we were blessing the land in South America, I've done, I did, we did so much blessing, so much gratitude, so much honoring of the land. 
and it's very sacred. And then I've come back to Australia and I was like, when have I really done that with my own land here in Australia? I've gone overseas and I've done this in South America, which is amazing. However, I haven't acknowledged or taken the time to sit with my ancestors, a lot with ancestry as well. So sit with my ancestors here on this land. When have I taken the moment to to give? Even with when we were eating and as a part of like rituals, we would offer like usually on a leaf some beautiful food from breakfast. We had amazing breakfast that we made over there and or food. And we would off that would be our offering to Pachamama to mother nature so having those it's really about setting those intentions so even with the land here i've come back and and blessing so if i'm going on a walk i'll 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 just sit with that and it could be one or two minutes it doesn't have to be really long it's just the practice of acknowledging where you are like you said in the present moment acknowledging um, pachamama deepening your connection even if you're not really feeling or you're like i don't really know what i'm doing or this feels a bit strange i don't know who's listening or what's out there it doesn't matter it's, it's doing it. It's feeling it for yourself. And the more you do it, the more you'll start to see. And it's not about doing it for a purpose. I just wanted to acknowledge that when you do these things, there's this deeper connection with God, source, mother nature, and which is a deeper connection with yourself. That's what it's reflecting back. And so I've come back and that's what I feel those who are listening and watching could, could really share is, is, is looking around at your own land of wherever you you are living when was the last time you took the time to really acknowledge where you are, have that presence? Maybe you want to have friends around and do a beautiful ritual, light some candles and just eat and have fun and community. Maybe you want to go down to a park and do that. And you could share a, bit, a few words of like where you're at in life or share a few words of what this land has really done for you in so many different ways. There's, there's a lot of, I could give so many different examples, but it's truly like just looking in for you of how do you want to bless where you are and that's just being in that state of gratitude are you truly grateful for what you have where you are um who you are and and those around you and if you want to do it with people then even like a community amazing that's that's even better and it's something that you can do by yourself as well so that's something that's a big takeaway that I've really learned and that I always share with people especially when I first came back is really blessing the land here the ancestors connecting like connecting deeper with them as well wherever I go and even if it's just a second doesn't matter it's just the intention that's there yeah yeah that's so beautiful and then what would you say with all your experiences and just coming back from Japan literally last night <laughs> <laughs> yes what is your intention to help people now like how how do you want to help others how what do you want them to um get from you like how do you want mm -hmm. them to expand their own life and be yeah. a service to them yeah I'm always sitting with this and it it comes back to just like the simplicity of helping empower women and empower can be used a lot, but truly like, what does that mean for you listening? Empower women, especially, and men to be in their own energy, to be in their own truth, to stand against the norm. That's a big part of even, I love human design. It's a big part of my incarnation cross, which is my soul's purpose is, is really standing against the grain. So with everything I talk about with stigmas and veganism and, um, even affiliate marketing that can have a big stigma, a big rap. I'm, I'm going against the grain. So I'm really here to help people just be in their own truth, be in their own power. And the best way that I can do that is by myself leading first, by myself being in my own power, standing in my truth mm -hmm. and just keep going deeper with that and navigating that. So that's what I really love people to get to. Like maybe you do love your nine to five and that's amazing. Okay, what's the next step? Like what's more you want to do? I always say, I have this one time in Courtney's body. You have this one lifetime in Kat's body. So what do you want to do with it? How do you want to be? How do you want to feel? Do you want to be on stages? Do you want to be in the Philippines? Do you want to have investment properties around the globe? Whatever it is, it's really about coming back to your own vision and, you, and your dream. And that's what I love about the space that I'm in in particular is because everybody is so unique. Like we were in a stadium with... 7,000 people all across the globe. We've got people from India, people from literally all these different all these different countries and everybody was so unique and so different. However, we were just all in our own element. So it's really about helping people stay in their own lane 
getting clear with what they want because I know that there's so much out there which is beautiful and inspiring um, and sometimes we can get lost in it even myself so it's coming back to yourself blinkers on okay this okay where do I want to be like what's that next step what's that next step and you just keep walking step 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 which is the journey that I'm on and the journey that I love to help people navigate through as well so I'm I'm very much I've always shared about uniqueness and that's what even human design is about is really coming back to yourself and your own uniqueness and so yeah it's been a big journey of mine of learning my own uniqueness and then helping other men women find theirs too and speaking their truth in that okay and what yeah. type of people would you love to work with right now yeah so I um I, I think about this a lot and I feel it's generally the the woman who wants more from life just like me she mm -hmm. wanted more she's in a nine to five she she loves growth uh however maybe scared of it too and that's okay she wants to live a more fulfilling excited life and wants to be able to give give back more in doesn't have to be in the same ways as me however just has this yearning and this desire and this fire within her that she feels and those who are listening you know if you feel this has that mm -hmm. desire within her to expand and to be seen and to be heard and to be maybe you want to be on land whatever it is whatever your vision is it's, it's those women that just have this yearning desire for, for more and just want to be their most full expressed selves and be able to do it in a sisterhood or a community as well that's been a big journey of mine too so helping people learn how to be able to create their own community and not just surface level community like deep like a deep rooted community where yeah. you be in your power and really help other people be in theirs too so she just has this burning desire for more I could feel like I could say more but it's it's just a feeling wow. it's like this knowing of this okay let, let's have a chat like let's talk like what do you want to do like let's I'm about those real conversations just like what we're having here which is so beautiful wow. and to be able to be honest with each other and be like right this is cool this is where I'm at this is where I'm at amazing how can I help you how can I help you and just be in this collaboration together and be able to walk together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And where can people connect with you? Yes. So you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm on TikTok, but I never really used it, all these platforms, but I'm mainly on Instagram and, and Facebook. So Instagram is I am Courtney Anderson and on Facebook, Courtney Anderson as well. You can find me on, on those two platforms. So reach out, say hello. Just that's I love those conversations and I really love having conversations with women in particular that are just so open. You have to be open to learning more. You have to be open and curious enough to just chat with Kat. You have to be open enough just to start a conversation and you never know where it leads because that's what I've done my whole life is when one door opens, fucking 10,000 more open. And when, when one door closes, another door opens. So it's always yeah. just expanding. Yeah. It's so true. The, and yeah. I, I find people too, like they get to the door that closes and they're fighting it and they're trying to push <laughs> it, and then, you know, like the push on the pull, the pull on the push. And, they're yeah, not and it's like a sliding door <laughs> and they're trying to push it. <laughs> it just gave me a visual when you were saying that. And I was like, so many people are fighting, trying to go their one way. You know, mm. like I see it this way. It has to happen this way for it to work. Whereas if you just expanded and opened up and we're open to more opportunities more blessings to come your way you would see that there's a whole row of doors open that you can go through there's so many doors there it's like <laughs> just open the perspective yes I love that that's so funny I love it I'm gonna use that I'm gonna be like I just did this and I cat reminded me I would love that push pull door thing it's great <laughs> oh it's so funny like you you have to admit when you see the videos and people are like <laughs> or the ones where like they think they're going through the screen like the screen doors yeah. open and it's not oh yeah yeah I love those videos it's even better when it's in person too you get to laugh with them yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's even better when it's yourself in person <laughs> yeah you're like oh great cool <laughs> yeah yeah well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanted to add today that we never, I never got to touch on? Yeah, well, I just feel really honored. I just want to take this moment to honor you, Kat. And like I did at the start of this before we even jumped on is really honoring you for showing up, for 
being in your own element, for being a woman of expression and standing for something. Because if you don't stand for something, you're standing for nothing. And so I just really, excuse me, soul bombs is just really acknowledging and celebrating you for having me and other women and men in these on chatting with you. Um, if you don't know myself or Kat very well, please reach out. Kat is such a beautiful woman. We, I feel like I've known her my whole life. And this is the cool thing yeah. about what we get to, get to do is we get to meet people that you have this connection and it feels kind of weird. And you're like, I feel like I've told you my whole life and I already, like, I already know you, but you haven't shared one thing with them. It's just this energy exchange. And so thank you so much for having me. And I'm so excited for those that are coming into your space, coming into my space. And this is, I really love what you value, which is collaboration. And so I just wanted to really thank you for seeing that and seeing that perspective in this world because that's how we all win is by collaborating and walking together so thank you so much well thank you so much I receive that fully and it's just oh it's just so nice to hear um so if you don't have people this nice in your life you guys like <laughs> go follow her, save all her stuff because you will feel magical when you're done talking with her and this is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning, like right from the moment we even shared a voice memo before we even met in person-ish over Zoom. Yeah. yeah. It was like, wow, she has this peaceful aura and I just love it. And I just want to eat it all up and absorb it <laughs> and like make it my own. Thank you. Thank you. you guys Thank you. can tell from our conversation today you just feel at peace and so calm in Courtney's presence. So thank you for shining your light and allowing people to feel safe in your space to connect with you. So that's really magical. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for listening, those who are listening as well. And I'm excited for this new journey and to hear from you. I would love to hear what you took away from this. I love that. Yeah. And as always, I will say, Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment so we can connect with you because if we don't know what you're enjoying, it's hard for us to create more value, more opportunities for you. So get in the comments and connect with us, share your journey, share your thoughts. We are so open to hearing them and expanding on more. You never know, it might lead to more collaborations down the road to serve mm -hmm. you guys at a higher capacity too. So Thanks again, and I'll make sure I tag everything in the show notes for you. And thanks for joining mm -hmm. us on another chat with Kat.